Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand. It's spring and those birdies are everywhere. They're nesting and they need good nutrition to raise their new little family. In the past, I had issues with very bothersome squirrels. I even rescued one from a tree and we raised it in the house. That was a very crazy time. Squirrels are nuts. They run around, they're unpredictable. And if you're feeding birds, they jump in your bird feeder and they take all the sunflower seeds and chase away the birds. I have a really big yard with tons of trees and tons of birds. And it's been a war against those squirrels. I finally found some bird feeders that attach to my window and the squirrels can't get to the feeders. I found Sherwood Vase and they sponsored this video. It's really easy to assemble. They even have two compartments so if you wanted to you could just put pure sunflower seeds in that little compartment. I just use your basic wild bird seed from the grocery store. It holds about two cups. To protect the birds you're going to wash your bird feeders about every week or so because they could have germs and be spreading it to their friends. I like to put them two up on my kitchen window. You got to give it about a week before they find it. And so scattering seeds leading to the path of the feeder is really good. That helps. Sherwood Base makes a great hummingbird feeder too. The recipe for hummingbird nectar is one cup of water, one quarter cup of sugar into warm water and stir it up until it completely dissolves. That'll take about maybe one or two minutes. The Sherwood Base Hummingbird Feeder can be hung or it can stick to your window. And with about one cup of nectar in it, it lasts for about a week. And then after that, you really need to clean it because it too can hold germs. You want to make sure your birdies don't get sick. It has an ant moat, so ants can't get in. I like that feature. And a little cleaner for sanitary purposes. So click the link below to get the Sherwood Base Bird Feeders. They're very inexpensive. They're wonderful, durable. It's recommended not to have the hummingbirds too close to your wild bird feeders. There could be territory issues. Somehow my little birdies worked it out. They're all friends. And when you first see your birdies come, stand back, because they can fly away quick. They're a little spooked at first. And there's a place for five little hummingbirds to hang around and have a party together on that feeder. And if you put a few plants in your yard that have red blooms, that will really attract them too and that brings them closer to your hummingbird feeder. I like to hang the hummingbird feeder and then fill it up with the nectar. The red color is what gets them to take it. You don't need red food coloring because the top is red. Comment and let me know, do you have birds in your backyard? And what kind do you have? Do you feed them? I'm Rebecca Brown, subscribe to my channel and let's keep finding out great recipes. Like recipes to attract wild birds and hummingbirds.